Hey yo guys, this is your artist Holgard and welcome to an epic tutorial. Today you will learn how to draw Goku Mastered Ultra Instinct nearly full body. Let's start after the intro. So guys, what we need right now is of course a paper sheet. I like to use paper from Copic which is 250 grams thick and really high quality. Then we will need a ruler, some eraser and a pencil. The pencil I am using here is from Faber Castell. The metal thing on my pencil is just a pencil extender. If you have experience with colored pencils, you know that they get very small very fast. So get yourself some of these. They cost less than $1 so very cheap. And as you can see, the pencil strength is 4 to H. You can find all the materials in my description box below. Now we will draw some guidelines. We will have the A4 size paper in portrait mode at 10.5 cm on the horizontal. Then we will draw a 3 cm guideline for the face at 8 cm from above. This will help us to draw way easier. Ok, let's start. I always start with the eyes when I draw, to be exact with the wrinkles between the eyes when the Saiyans are looking angry. We will use the length of the guideline to draw the eyebrows. You can use a ruler to place the other eyebrow at the exact same level. Then we will continue with the eyes. We just need three lines to complete the edgy eyes of Dragon Ball characters. Just like that. Then we will draw the pupils at the center of the eyes and the iris at the center of the pupils. After that, we will draw the nose of Goku right under the wrinkles between the eyes with a triangle-like shape. And right under the nose, we will draw his mouth. We will give Goku a very serious face expression today. Perfect. So now watch how I like to do the face shape. You see that I used the eyes to place the jaw right. After that it was easy. I just connected the lines. So always make it simple, make it easy guys. And when there is no use for the guidelines anymore, I like to erase them. Always keep the sketch as clean as possible. Ok great, now we can add the marks under the eyes to complete the face. Let's move on to the hair. I will add a small guideline at the top of the forehead so I know where the hair starts. And from there, we will draw the 5 hair strands of Goku, which are falling down to his face. We will not draw the hair too straight, rather a little wavy. That way it will have more volume and it will look more professional. I will add a thin hair strand into it to make it look even cooler. Then we can draw the ears. I like to place the ears next to the eyes. You can use a ruler to be sure that both ears are equal. The 
massive neck of Goku begins under the ear lobes. Add some decent lines to the hair strands to give it some detail. And to complete the face, we will add some scratches into it to make him look even more badass. Perfect, looking really really good and if you're ready, we will continue with the mastered ultra instinct hair. So we will start with the hair strands next to his face. The hair of Goku is very spiky and the hair strands are thick and long. Again, we will draw his hair very wavy to make it look even more professional. And as you can see, Goku has a lot more hair strands on the left side, from our point of view, than on the right side. Now we will add some decent lines all over the hair strands to give the hair the necessary details. As simple as that guys, that's it. Let's move on to the torso. So, now before we start anything, let's draw the shape of all the muscles of Goku. This will make it a lot more easier for us to give the proportions perfectly right. You can always use a ruler to make sure that everything is on the right place. So, now we can start with the main sketch. I like to draw my Saiyans way more muscular than usual, that way they look way more powerful. I really don't like the Dragon Ball Super drawing style. So draw the muscles around, that way Goku will look pumped. The upper chest will have much volume. And as you can see, I always erase the unnecessary lines to keep the sketch as clean as possible. And when everything is clean, we can add the details into the neck and the traps. Perfect. Now we will draw the pumped lower chest of Goku. Some details on the middle chest to give it more definition and the nipples at the edge of the lower chest. Now we will draw his ripped shoulders. So draw some curved lines on the shoulders to make the muscles pop out. Don't forget to add the scratches all over Goku's body. So, now we will add all the details to the abdominal area. First, we will draw the torn shirt so we know where the abdominal muscles will end. The six pack of Goku will be very defined and big.
just like that. And we will give him some more muscles on the empty spaces of the abs. Perfect. Now we will complete the torn shirt of Goku. Make sure to draw the rest of the shirt wavy as well. The blue shirt above and the orange shirt right under that. Perfect. Let's continue with the shape of the arms. We will draw the arms straight but tense. And after we drew the shape of the arm, we can add the details into it. First we will draw his big bicep, round and pumped up. And behind the bicep, we will draw his tricep. forearm muscles will be very pronounced as well. I like to add a big vein on the bicep. That way Goku will look even more badass. Some scratches on the arm as well and then we can move on to the other arm. So, you know the process, therefore to draw the other arm will be way easier. Use the ruler again to make sure where the bicep and the forearm ends. Besides that, it's the same process. That looks perfect already. Now we will draw his belt right under the torn shirt. We will draw the shape first and then adding the details into it. Okay great, now before drawing the hands of Goku, we will draw just the shape of the pants. Just like that. Okay, now to the hands. The hands will be shaped into a fist as Goku is ready to rip Jiren apart. As always, we will draw the shape first. Then we can start adding the details. So drawing hands can be very difficult sometimes. But with a lot of practice, it will get easier by time. Thank you. 
add the knuckles into the fist and the details into the fingers. Then we will draw the wristband of Goku on his forearm. Add some wrinkles into the wristband to give it some definition. Great, that's how it should look like. We will do the exact same thing on the other side. Let's go! Just like that guys, we are very close. Let's finish the sketch by adding the details into the pants. The pants of Goku are very wide and wrinkled. The pants will be torn as well, but just a very little. We will add some more wrinkles on the inner side of the pants. Some more details and then we completed the sketch of Goku Mastered Ultra Instinct. So guys, we did it. I think it looks pretty good. I think we did a very good job. And all of the materials I used are in the info box below guys. Alright, let's move on to the inking. For the inking, I like to use this pen from Copic 0.05mm. This size allows me to work very accurate and it feels very comfortable in my hand. To show you how to do a proper inking, I will ink a small part in real time so you can see how I do it. There you have the big secret guys, well it's actually not a secret at all. I just ink very slow, very controlled, each line again and again, rotating the paper if necessary and that's all. That's all you need to know about the inking process. We will do exactly the same process on the whole drawing. Just remember, do the inking very slow, take your time and be calm.
So, first layer of ink done and looking pretty good. Now we will erase all the pencil lines. I like to use this eraser from Faber Castell, which you can find in my info box below. And for smaller areas, you can use an eraser stick if you like, just as I do here. So guys, as you know, I always do a second layer of ink, in which I give my drawing some thicker lines. I love to ink my art that way, because it makes it look very special and comic look like, but the main reason is, I just love doing my ink that way. You can see that I use the same pen again and go over almost every line and make them a little thicker. It's also like a double check on the inking. Some areas may be not that clean, so you can improve certain areas. But you don't have to do the second layer of ink if you don't want to. It's just my personal taste. And that's all I have to say about the inking guys. Just controlled and slow. So, we are done with the inking, and it looks amazing so far. It's very clean, it's very unique, and ready to color. So let's get the Copic markers out. Now to the most fun part, the coloring. And as you guys know, I like to use Copic Show markers. These are alcohol based markers which blend just phenomenal. The Copics have two tips. One is small and thin, the other is thicker. But I have to say I never use the thicker tip. So we will start with the hair of Goku. Therefore we need only two color tones which are BV31 and BV23. I always like to start with the brighter color tones. That way it's easier for me to do the shading afterwards. We will color one hair strand together so you can see how I do it. I like to use the hairlines to do the shading and as you can see they help a lot. Then we will use BV23 to add the shades. Therefore I will use the hairlines again. When you are done with that, take the BV31 color tone again and do some blending and a bit more shading. Just like that guys, very simple. And we will do the exact same process for the entire hair of Goku Mastered Ultra Instinct. Perfect, it looks really good. Now we will use the same color tones to color the eyebrows and the pupils. Then we will use a white gale pen to add one small point on each pupil. After that we will use the color tone C3 to add some shading to the eyes. So great. Now to the skin, which is in my opinion the most important thing on the Mastered Ultra Instinct form. We will start with the brightest color tone E50. With that we will color just the outer part of the face, because we will add some darker shades at the center. Now use E29 for the shading. First prefigure the shading. As this is a very dark tone, it will help you to avoid mistakes. Then you can cover the whole area, but make sure to leave some small and brighter areas to make him look shiny.
effect. Now we will use E21 to add another color tone to it. This will increase the contrast. And to finish up the face, we will use an even darker color tone which is E49 to add some small dark details into the face. And to make the scratches look more realistic, we will use a black color pencil and a red one to add some blood into it. Very good, I really like it so far. Now we will use the same color tones in the same order to color the neck and the traps. Make sure to color the outer part brighter and add the shading at the center, just as I do here. And I know that this brown tone is very dark, so if you want to use a brighter one, go ahead. Now we will color the chest of Goku. First, we will color one pack together. Use E50 again to color the outer part of the pack muscle. Then we will use E29 to add a big shade on the upper and middle chest. Make sure to color that area very evenly. Perfect, now use E21 and increase the contrast around the dark shade. And the last color tone is E49. With that we will just do some more details to give the shading more definition. black and red color pencil for the scratches and the blood and that's how we will color the chest. Okay guys, it's coming to life. Now to the abdominals. Again, same order of color tones. The outer parts of the six pack and the abdominal muscles brighter and the shades will be at the center of the muscles. By the way, you can find the Copic Show markers set A and B in my description box as well. done with that we will continue with the shoulders and arms that's actually the same process again guys use e50 for the outer part of the shoulder and then e29 to add big dark shades on the inner part of the shoulder then use e21 to add some shades around the darker shades and then E49 to add some details to the darker shading areas. Shoulder done, let's move on to the arm. Now you know how it goes. I recently have seen a lot of comments about my original saying Banazes has mastered Ultra Instinct. You guys really love Banazes, so I think I will bring him back and make some epic drawings with him. Should he fight some other saints like Goku? Let me know below in the comments if you want to see that.
So, less detail to the arm, and then it's finished. Looking really badass in my opinion, just how Saiyans must look like. I think I don't have to explain the coloring process for the other arm, I'm sure you know it by now. Same color tones, same order of color tones, you can do it, so let's go. And as you're done with that, we will continue with the fists. And guess what guys? Same process again. The brighter color tone on the outer part of the fist and the shading will be at the inner part. Now we will use the color pencil for the scratches and then we are done with coloring the skin of Goku. Perfect, now to the closes. Let's start with the wristbands. We will use B29 to cover the entire wristband with, but make sure to color it evenly. Then we will use B39 to add the shading at the inner part of the band, just like that. Then I will use a black pen to add some dark details into it to give it more definition. Ok great, same process on the other wristband. Now we will use the same color tones to color his shirt and his belt with. The shading will be again on the inner part which makes the outer part of the shirt and belt lighter. And pay attention that you color everything always very evenly. Perfect, so almost done guys, let's move on to the orange part. For the shirt, we will use YR07 as the main color. Cover the whole shirt with that color tone, but leave some white areas at the outer parts. We will color the white areas with YR04 and add some shading with E08. Just like that. Now we will move on to the last part of the drawing, the pants. Use YR07 as the main color tone again and cover the entire pants with it. But again, leave some white areas on the outer part of the pants. We will color one leg together so you know exactly how to do it. Now we will use YR04 to color the white parts with. Ok, and for the shading we will use E08. And to do the shading I will use the wrinkles of the pants. They are the perfect orientation to place the shading parts. Okay, looking perfect. Now we will use E29 to add some even darker shades, which will give them pants way more definition. We will use wrinkles as orientation again to do the darker shading. 
the black color pencil for the scratches and that's it. This is how you color the pants of Goku Mastered Ultra Instinct. So now you know how it goes guys. Let's color the other leg and then we are finally done with our drawing. Same process, same color tones, same order of color tones. You can do it. So let's go. Final touch and that's it. Let's take a look at our masterpiece. I think it looks amazing. The proportions are on point, it's drawn very clean, the colors look amazing and the coloring is also great. Let's sign this piece of art like a real artist and then we can call this done. I hope that you learned something today guys. To make this tutorial was very difficult, it was a lot of work, so if this was helpful, make sure to give this video a like, that way you support this channel a lot. Also share this video with a friend who needs a drawing tutorial very bad. Subscribe if you are new on my channel, a bunch of epic videos and tutorials will come. And vote for the character which you want to see a tutorial on next in the info card at the top right. That's it guys, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you very soon, until then stay healthy healthy, stay fit, be a good person, be you, and always remember, you are the designer of your own life.